Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch the circle up over your head. Let's stretch to one side, back to the other side. One last stretch up at the top, and now let's bring the circle back down and sing together. If you know the words to this song, you can sing along with me. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends, and welcome to Circle Time. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. We have three things that we need to do before we move on to the calendar and weather chart. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Number two, put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is right over here in front of me. I'm going to put it on top of my head, and today my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. So we have our listening ears on, our thinking hats on, and our hearts are all warmed up. That means that we can get started with circle time. I have my pointing stick and we are going to go over the date. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? July, you're right. The month is July and today is July 27th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 26th. Today is July 27th, and the year is 2021 or 2021. So the month is coming to an end. I wonder how many days are left in the month of July. Let's use our counting fingers and give them a little stretch. And now let's count the remaining days that are left in the month. After today, we only have one, two, three, four. We only have four more days left in the month of July, and then we will begin a brand new month. So if you keep your four fingers up like this, but you add three more fingers, one, two, three, now we have seven fingers, and it looks like we're ready to sing the Days of the Week song. Will you sing with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and let's go over the days, to get the days together. Listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with. And if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. That means that today is T. Tuesday, tomorrow will be W. Wednesday. Let's go back and sing Today is Tuesday with me. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. And if we go back up to the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Summer. That's right. It's summertime where I live. And if we travel back down to the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. So that means that it's time to sing the weather song together, and then we can share what we see outside of our windows. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today I have a picture of the sun shining behind the clouds because when I look outside of my window, it's mostly cloudy, but the sun is poking through a little bit. And my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm outside. Warm and mostly cloudy with a little bit of sunshine. What about you? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. And now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So yesterday, we started talking about this uppercase or capital letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that together. P, P. And which letter is this? P, that's right. This is an uppercase or capital P. P says P, P. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. It's something that starts with the letter P. Here's your first clue. This is something that is used for writing. It has ink inside of it. And usually the ink is blue or black, but it can come in other colors. What is that called? Hmm, let's take a look. This is a pen. So a pen starts with the letter P, and it's used to write with. So if I take off this top right here, the ink is inside of the pen, and if I had a piece of paper, I could write with it. It looks like this pen has black ink because the tip right here is black. Pen starts with the letter P. -P. This is how you write in uppercase P. -P. One more time. And here's the number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? Nine. That's right. Will you hold up nine fingers for me? Let me put my chalkboard down so that I can also hold up nine fingers. Five fingers on one hand plus four more fingers make nine. Now let's count to the number nine together using the large bead frame. This week we are going to be counting to the number nine together using the large bead frame. We will be counting the green beads, which are the units at the top. Let's count nine units together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units. Let's open up the box and see what we have to count today. Ooh, I have a little bouquet of flowers. I wonder how many flowers are inside of the bouquet. Will you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more makes nine. Nine flowers inside of the bouquet. So we've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week. Now it's time to go over the sign of the week. Yesterday I showed you how to say moon in sign language. Do you remember how to do that? Let me show you. You take one of your hands and you use your counting finger and your thumb and you curve it in an inward motion like this and then you bring those fingers to your eye and forehead area and move it up and out. Moon. In the evening, even after the sun sets, the sky isn't completely dark. That's because of the moon. 
which is the largest and brightest object in the sky at nighttime. Our moon is very important because it prevents our planet from wobbling too much and also creates high and low tides, which we learned about a few weeks ago. Our moon is the only surface beyond planet Earth that humans have set foot on, and it orbits around our planet Earth. The first man to walk on the moon was an astronaut named Neil Armstrong. Our moon is like a desert. It has mountains and valleys and is covered in pits and craters, which are holes from when a large rock hit the surface. But our planet is not the only one in the solar system with a moon. We have only one moon, but Jupiter has 53 moons. For today's work, we are going to try and recreate the moon's surface. Let's go! For today's work, we are going to be making moon sand. Moon sand is a great material to add to a sensory bin once you make it. So in order to make the moon sand, I have four cups of flour inside of this bowl, and I'm going to add a half of a cup of oil. You can use any type of oil. I am using olive oil. And I have a spoon to mix it all together. So you want to mix the oil into the flour until everything is combined. So you can see that as you mix it, clumps are going to start to form, and that is okay. There is no need to remove any clumps. This is not supposed to be a smooth mixture by any means. You just want to keep mixing until the oil is no longer a liquid. And next, you're going to take your moon sand and add it to a sensory bin. I also have some scoops and some little bowls right here. And as you can see, when I squeeze it together, it holds together, but it's also crumbly at the same time. I really like the texture of this moon sand because it is really soft, but there are also little crumbly pieces which are, hard, which are fun to squeeze until it crumbles like this. So the surface of the moon is very rocky and has big craters and pits which are like holes on the surface. So you can use your fingers or you can use scoops to make holes. The moon also has mountains and valleys, so you can build up some mountains like this. Or just enjoy playing with the moon sand any way that you'd like. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. I have a song to share with you, and it goes like this. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. If you're going to the moon, this is what you'll have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear your boots. 
If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, this is what you'll have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear your gloves. If you're going to the moon, wear a suit. Zip! If you're going to the moon, wear a suit. Zip! If you're going to the moon, this is what you'll have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear a suit. Zip! And here's the last one. If you're going to the moon, wear a helmet. If you're going to the moon, wear a helmet. If you're going to the moon, this is what you'll have to do. If you're going to the moon, wear a helmet. So now we are all ready to travel safely to the moon. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one more song to sing before we go. Let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.